In the movie Kingsman, there's a particular scene where Harry Hart gives Eggsy three words to live by. Oxfords, not brogues. So quick question, do you know the difference? Yes? No? Maybe? Let's find out. All right, so here we go, shoe number one. Look at this beautiful shoe. This thing looks great, but is it an Oxford or a Brogue? Write it down, let's go to the next one. Now on the shoe number two, great looking piece of footwear in a different color, but is it an Oxford, Brogue, don't know, or do you? Write it down. And let's pull up our final shoe in today's quiz. Mm, another great looking pair of shoes. What is it going to be, guys? Oxford, Brogue, and now the results. Two Brogues, one Oxford, maybe two Oxfords, one Brogue. The answer is, gentlemen, two brogues and two oxfords. What, what am I talking about? How can you have four answers with three shoes? Gentlemen, I explain that in today's video. So here are the answers to the quiz. That first shoe was clearly an oxford. That second shoe was clearly a brogue, but that third shoe was both an oxford and a brogue. What type of sorcery is this? Gentlemen, understand that an oxford can be a brogue and a brogue can be an oxford. Then what in the world is Harry Hart talking about? guys? To do that, to explain what he meant, I'm gonna have to explain exactly what is an Oxford and what exactly is a brogue. So an Oxford, by definition, is a dress shoe with a closed lacing system. It's traditionally free from ornamentation and overall is a very simple shoe. Occasionally, you'll see a cap toe on this, but this shoe is meant to be worn with black tie, with business formal clothing, with business casual clothing, and by that actually I mean a sports jacket with odd trousers, maybe a casual suit, but it is not something that is made to ever be worn with jeans or something like that. Now, Oxfords come in a wide variety of colors. Black is going to be the most common color out there, and I think great for a first shoe, a workhorse shoe, but you're going to see ox blood out there. You're going to see brown. You're going to see dark brown. You're going to see lighter tans like this, and all of them are Oxfords. This has been the go-to shoe for the well-dressed man. So, what's great about this shoe is you can buy it. You don't have to worry about it going out of style. It is something that has served men for almost 200 years. So now that we know what an Oxford is, what is a brogue? A brogue is a shoe or a boot that uses leather ornamentation known as broguing. Broguing is actually where you have carved holes into the leather. And the history on this, we go back again a couple hundred years, this was a very casual shoe. It was actually used to traverse marshes. Why? Because they had holes in them. And guess what? Whenever you went on the dry land, the water would come right out of the shoes. So they had a very functional purpose. If you think about it, they were like an early form of Crocs. Yes, I know a bit jarring there thinking about Crocs, but understand this is why brogues are considered casual because they have their foundation in sportswear. Now, generally speaking, there's four types of brogue shoes you're going to see out there, starting off with the most formal, which is the semi brogue. Then we're going to go to half brogue, which is a little bit more casual. Then we're going to go to wingtips. These are casual shoes. And then we go to long wings, which are going to be the most casual of all brogue shoes. Now, throughout this video, you You've seen some amazing pictures of shoes, right? Beautiful shoes. Guys, you can grab them all over at Beckett Simonon, the sponsor of today's video. What I love about this company? Affordable shoes. Go look at those prices. An amazing price. And we're talking, this is high quality footwear here. These things are stitched together with a Blake stitch. And I love how they've actually used a full grain leather right here on the upper. Whenever I look on the inside of the shoe, I can see that they've used a nice little leather lining in there. And it really comes down to comfort. I love their shoes. This pair of loafers right here, this ox blood, it's a beautiful shoe and I have put miles on this thing. Yeah, just it is my go to travel shoe now. Why? Because I love I can slip it on, slip it off. Yes, it's not an Oxford, it's not a Brogue, but I can tell you that this is one versatile shoe. And that's what you're going to find when you go over to their website that they've got the shoes that you need to build and complete your wardrobe. And it's not just shoes, gentlemen, they've got boots as well. So go check out their website. Look at all the options out there. Look at all the colors, all the different styles. And let's talk about what Beckett Simonon doesn't have. They don't have stores. They don't have a high markup. They don't carry inventory. Why? Again, everything that they sell, they're actually building it after you order it. By doing this, guys, they're able to cut that cost down. Free shipping, free returns, and you can cancel your order even after you put it in and they've already started making the shoe. Guess what? You can still cancel. Use the link down in the description with that discount code. Get the best deal out there. I'm proud to support them. Go check them out. These are amazing shoes at a great price. So now you know what 
an Oxford is. Now you know what a brogue is. But how can a brogue be an Oxford? How can an Oxford be a brogue? And what the hell was Harry Hart talking about when he said Oxfords, not brogues? To be honest, I think the writers made a mistake. They should have said Oxfords, not derbies. What? What's a derby? What am I talking about? Let's talk about derbies. A derby is a more casual dress shoe with an open lacing system. So what's the difference between a closed and open lacing system? Let me show you. So on the upper part of a shoe of an Oxford, we're going to see the back of the shoe, the quarter is going to go under the front part of the shoe, which is known as the vamp. This is going to give it a sleeker look and this is a closed lacing system. Now when we go over and we look at a derby, also known as a blucher, what we see right here is an open lacing system and that is where the back of the shoe actually is slapped on top of the front of the shoe. So why then are open lacing systems more casual? Why are derbies, why are bluchers more casual shoes? It has to do with history and the design of the shoe. So we go back at the Field Marshal Von Blucher. This guy discovered about 200 years ago that soldiers will go from one point to another if they've got great footwear, they will do it faster. So he designed a boot known as the Blucher that took the back quarter of that shoe, threw it on top of the vamp, and guess what? This was an ugly shoe. It was a fast manufactured shoe, but it was an effective boot that his soldiers used in combat and it was named after him. To compare that to, again, the closed lacing system. This took longer to manufacture and that was much more elegant. Any well-dressed man who understands that difference knows that those are casual shoes, that those are more formal shoes and they can spot the difference. So now that you understand Oxfords, now that you understand derbies, and now that you understand brogues, we can actually talk about this and it's going to make sense. So with Oxfords, those have a closed lacing system. Derby, open lacing system. Brogue doesn't refer at all to the lacing system. It simply refers to the ornamentation. Now, the vast majority of Oxfords, they're not going to have much broguing. Why? Because when you add broguing, it makes the shoe less formal. Versus when we see over here with derbies, we're going to see tons of broguing in general because it's just going to work with a more casual shoe. That's not saying though that you can't have Oxfords that have slight broguing on them. Maybe a medallion on the toe. These are great looks. And actually, I think if you're going to own multiple pairs of shoes, then, you know, why not? Why not actually bring in a little bit of design? But historically, we've seen the broguing over on the blucher, over on the derby side. So after all of this, if you're exiting and you have gotten that advice, Oxford's not brogues. What is Harry Hart actually saying? To me, it wasn't so much literally, but figuratively what he was saying, pay attention to the details because these small details, knowing your history and understanding things, that's actually what makes what a great secret agent or anyone that's going to be successful in life. Paying attention to the situation, looking at the details, knowing where you come from and understanding where other people are coming from and why these rules exist. Because if you understand this, well, you can occasionally break the rules when you understand that there's no reason for it, or you can respect the rule and you can work within the system when you understand why it's there. Now, what video to watch next? How about how to dress like a Kingsman? Oh yeah, one of my favorite videos. I just loved this one. And if you follow the advice here, yeah, you're going to be looking good.